The LED goggles kit comes with a control board which has my controller that stores all the animations that are shown on the LED displays. So you do not need to know how to program in order to assemble this kit. This kit also comes with a power board and a 5 volt voltage regulator in addition to two matrix driver boards a laser cut template yours might be clear or it might be this kind of opaque color uh, this measures 1.7 by 1.7 inches so if you really wanted to you could mount this into a different pair of goggles than the ones that are provided with the kit and there are two versions of the kit the, there's a version that comes with these goggles and there's also a version that does not come with any goggles at all so if you want to use your own goggles make sure you could fit a 1.7 by 1.7 LED matrix in them so that's all the parts that come with the kit you will need to buy some more parts in order to assemble it you'll need two 16 megahertz crystals they look like this you need three, either 22 picofarad or 18 picofarad capacitors. These can be 10 volts, 16 volts, 25 volts, or 50 volts. It doesn't matter. As long as you get ceramic capacitors of either 22 picofarad or 18 picofarads. You need six 0.1 microfarad capacitors. These could be 10 volts, 16 volts, 25 volts, or 50 volts. Try to get the ceramic type so that they kind of look like this and not the electrolytic type for the 0.1 microfarad capacitors. You need six 10 microfarad capacitors. These could be either 10 volts, 16 volts, 25 volts, or 50 volts. Again, the voltage does not matter. You need six 1K ohm resistors, and these could be either 1 quarter watt or 1 eighth of a watt. It doesn't matter. The 1 eighth of a watt resistors are a little bit smaller than this, but you could use either type. You will need three 27K or 30K ohm resistors. Again, these could either be one quarter watt or one eighth of a watt, it doesn't matter. You'll need roughly two meters of 50 conductor 28AWG wire gauge cable. So you'll need somewhere around two meters of this. Uh, even two meters might be a little too much, so yeah. You need roughly 200 three millimeter LEDs and you could choose whatever color you want and yeah so you need about 200 of them try not to skimp on this so don't go for the very very cheapest ones because some of these LEDs that some sellers sell are kind of crap and the legs kind of break off and they don't work out too well you need three max 7219 integrated circuits you need a 4-pin female header, and since 4-pin female headers with really, really long pins like this are kind of hard to find, you can get yourself an 8-pin header like this, and just take wire cutters, and then trim off the extra pins here. So there we go, we have a 4-pin female header from an 8-pin female header. You'll need a 3.3-volt logic converter, and it looks like this, and it's sold by MD Fly electronics on eBay or something similar to that. You need to get this exact 3.3 volt logic converter or else you can't really use the Bluetooth functionality. So also you need two four pin headers and these come with the 3.3 volt logic converter last time I checked. So yeah, so this all comes as one package. So again you need a 3.3 volt logic converter and you need two four pin headers. You will need three 6mm push buttons. They look like this. You will need a 4AA battery pack with switch. An optional item you might want to get is enameled wire. And this is special wire. It'll have the name of it right here. I don't remember what gauge this is, but I'll have a range here showing you what type of gauge wire you can use. So you might want to get this because when you assemble the LED goggles you have these large rather large and clunky cables so if you want to you could replace instead of using the wire that I used here which is the 
which is the 50 conductor flat ribbon cable. You could replace it with this uh, enameled wire and it would be a lot more discreet and you won't have this kind of jumble wires. But I kind of think it looks cool so I chose to use this cable here. So you will need a soldering iron. This is a 40 watt iron but I recommend somewhere around maybe a 35 or 30 watt iron if you're just beginning to solder. Uh, I would recommend a fine point tip like this, a conical tip, as opposed to a flat, uh, wide one. So get a fine point tip soldering iron. You also need some wire cutters. You'll also need some wire strippers, like these. You will also need a pair of scissors. You will need a hot melt glue gun. And you will need a paintbrush. You'll need solder. This is lead free. You'll need a couple sticks of hot glue. And you also need some black acrylic paint. So you could find this stuff at your local Walmart or similar store. You'll need a credit card type object or an ID card or similar flat piece of plastic like this.